Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be unboxing the Netartmo Smart Home Home Weather Station. Um, I think it's French, because I think some of the different other languages, French, so station, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, claims to be real-time indoor and outdoor data, indoor air quality measurement. This is what I was kind of interested in, because winter's coming. So usually in winter, you've got, you know, all your windows and doors closed because it's just too bloody cold to, to open it up. Um, so I was curious to see like, you know, how much CO2 do I get in the house? Um, Real-time notifications, that could be cool. And then data history. Um, and from what I understand with this product is everything's modulized. So let's say for example, you wanna get a wind meter, then you can get a little wind meter version. You can stick it outside and it all connects. Um, so yeah, let's see uh, their commitment. Yeah, all inclusive. Da, da, da. Um, so these are the measurements it'll do it in. All the ranges, temperatures, water, sound. Okay, and then on the back it says here, real time remote access via smartphone, which is pretty cool. Uh, and oh, we, we said that one, and then the seven day weather report, mm. which I mean, okay, cool. All phones do have, and they're pretty accurate, but. You know, you just get to know what the temperature is in your house specifically. Um, compatible with Apple HomeKit and Alexa, which is cool. It also works with um, weather.com, YR, Weather Pro, and Weather Underground. I'm guessing this is my model. And then it says here, join the Netmart Most Smart Home Weather Stations community to explore readings in more than 170 countries. Which could also be kind of cool, you know, because you can measure like that someone might be down the road. Anyways, that's the bottom, that's the top, vice versa. And then, time to open it up. Savage way. There we go. And then, of course, there's one at the bottom. Okay, so a little cover off. I've got a box. <laughs> this is from me. Basically, just the logos. This is the one that goes outside. Um, obviously, everything's modularized, so you can get a little mount for outside. Um, I was hoping just to drill it and put it up and just let it hang there. Um, I mean, I'm going to take an educated guess. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. I don't know what these are, but I've just touched it. Okay. Nice. Still hard plastic, metal around. I definitely think I can mount something here. Nice. Okay, so that's one. Then this is the indoor side. So you can see you can plug it in. Um, we've got it here, the top mode. Let's do the same. <laughs> Maybe this one shouldn't open. No, that feels a bit sealed. I'm not gonna try my luck. Okay, and then what else do we get in the box? Oh, adapter for that. Converting. And European. So if we try this. Okay, then the usual manuals. So I guess these are the other products. Products. So this is what we got here. Then you've got the additional modules for inside if you want. So if you want one upstairs, one downstairs. You've got your rain gauge, wind gauge, 
um, air quality, and then your different temperature stats. Yeah. Inside, um, you've got your smart indoor siren, indoor window sensors, window ring, um, and then cameras and indoor cameras and smoke alarms. Yeah, that's the, the not net atma. And then one user manual. And then this is the home kit code. During the setup of Apple Home Kit, scan the code above on iPhone or iOS. And then this card contains a unique code that cannot be generated again. You will need to reconfigure your product. Da -da -da -da. And there's more stuff. Batteries, which I'm guessing goes into this guy. Oh, nice, you can mount it. Okay, and then a little strap. Yeah. Uh, you can put it here. <laughs> okay, so that goes in and then you can wrap it around something. And then it can fall. So you got options. This or put in the there permanently. Well, not permanently, but removable. You know what I mean. And then this piece of cardboard. And that is it. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'll uh, definitely try this out. Uh, I do think this is a, I think it's an older product, if I remember correctly. So it's not the case that it's just come off the market. I think this has been around for a while. Um, but yeah. Let's see how it goes. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any comments or queries, um, drop it below or yeah, hit the smash, the like button and the subscribe button.